This architecture was made by our third president. Let's see if you can remember who that is. Hmm. Washington Adams, Jefferson, Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson. Not only was he in a politician, not only was he a farmer, not only was he a president, but he also was an architect. So he designed this style. This style with the red brick and the white columns and the triangular accents, that is Jeffersonian architecture to a T. Now, this is going to be the inspiration for the project that we started last year but never finished. I was just sorting through our folders from last year. I still had them full of art projects and guess what I found? We had started drawing the White House. Some of the architecture in our nation's capital of Washington, D.C was inspired by the Jeffersonian type of architecture. So we are going to finish that artwork during our project time. Now, here's the deal. I'm not sure that all of you uh, can come and get your drawing that's partially completed. I will make them available and I'll let your parents know when they can come and pick them up so you don't have to start over. But I'm going to record an extra video for anyone who wants to draw a new one or anyone who can't come and get theirs or anyone who's new to Parnassus. I will help you draw from, this, from the beginning of the project and then we will do the painting where everyone still needs to do that. So, but this is the art history video. So enough about the project. Okay, I want to show you two other pieces of architecture that are similar to Jefferson's Monticello. Let's take a look. What you are looking at here is not a another picture of Monticello. I had to double check because it looked so similar. I had to hold it up to see if there were differences. So here, look at the triangle in the middle. Do you see the window that's like a half circle, semicircle? See how that's different than this one? This one has a clock in the middle. But it looks, otherwise, it looks so similar to Monticello. And here's why. This was also designed by Thomas Jefferson. And this is the University of Virginia, which is a college that he helped found. So what you're going to notice here is that the red brick is in contrast with the white columns. And then you can see many geometric patterns as well. So you can see the semicircle windows repeating themselves at the bottom here. You can see these tall windows with the triangles at the top. You will see those on the White House as well. Then, of course, all the beautiful white pillars over here of course, right in the middle and on the left side over here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now one more school that was inspired by the architecture of Thomas Jefferson. Whoa, does that look familiar? Do you recognize that place? Ha <laughs> ha, Parnassus Preparatory School. Yes, indeed, our architecture was inspired by the Jeffersonian style and you'll notice the red brick, the white pillars, and the repeating geometric shapes in the windows. So I thought it would be interesting if we also were inspired and used the idea of architecture to encourage us in our next project. So I will show you real quick. This will be the final product that we'll be working on. And this, of course, is the White House. Now you'll see that it's missing the red brick. It doesn't have the red brick. But I wanted you to see the pillars, the triangles, the windows with the geometric shapes over the top. And those things are the same that we saw in our other buildings. All right, I will see you in the project video. Thanks for checking in.